Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim, where during a recent live stream I decided to get Beyond ATC for 30 bucks. It's an external ATC app and it allows you to speak to the ATC in replies and stuff like that. And it has AI voices replying to you with various accents, starting with a German accent because we are starting in Germany here and flying to Kiev. In the AM225, I decided that that would be interesting and to also do the full startup and shutdown procedure. So let's see how that went. Oh, this is a, well, it's almost a good parking spot, except I should have picked the one on the side there because now we're going to be hitting that post. Ah, uh, so close. This would have been good. Okay, well, let's see about startup. Battery switches. Okay. Battery switches on. That's off. I guess that's off, <laughs> you know? Okay, fire loop on. Lead air on. Master switch on. Starter switch. APU1 start. Wait for APU1 N1 to get to 100%. Well, that's the RPM one, I think. Do I have to wait on APU1 to do APU2? I don't feel like that's the case. Okay. Oh no, that was already on. Okay. Those already on. Electrical power as required. Let's go with on, yeah. I mean, I guess external power isn't necessary anymore though. Okay. Rectifier toggle switches. Rectifiers on. Let's rectify this thing. Transformer rectifier switch. Ooh. Transformer rectifiers. Instrument nav switches. Holy mackerel. Um, that's a lot of instrument nav master switches. <laughs> you couldn't just have one of those? It's bus. Maybe altimeter, a H I bus, A S I switch, V S I T C A S T C A S bus is right there. Yeah. Okay. First officer. Well, I mean, it's the same thing as on the other side, right? Actually, they look a little bit different. Let me guess, the other one too? Yeah. <laughs> uh, comm switch. Area data computer switches. Nav lights. Okay, next. Fuel valve, valve switches, rich. Well, they should go along with this, but let's see. Oh, they're like that. They are rich. Okay, well, I'll trust that they're all the same. Hydraulic pump switches off. Well, they're closed. Oh, they're on? Engine one. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Okay, one is off. But it's just a set. How do I know whether it's... Well, it doesn't have a light on, so I assume it's off. Is that... But in airliners, normally if it's on, you have to deal with it. I mean, uh, if the light is on, it means you have to deal with it. And when the light is off, that's the normal situation for flight. So... It says set. 
Mm, I'm gonna guess that not lit is off, so it's probably all okay. Guarded ones should stay lit. Okay, well, I think they're all fine. <laughs> we'll find out pretty quickly if they're not. Ground tab open. Payload, yeah, well, yeah, we don't have to do the payload stuff. Hmm, as required. Ah, these switches don't work. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do as required with that thing. I guess we have to just use this one. I don't know which runway we're actually going to get. Or if Beyond ATC is even going to talk to me. Beacon light. Engine start. Go, oh, gosh. I don't even know where half this stuff actually is. I'd have to look around. I'm over here somehow. Okay, engine start cover. They always they have a lot of stuff covered up too. Okay. Rich. Okay, they are rich. Mixture ratios. They they those are on. Hydraulic transfer switches. I guess we have to click those and that means they're on. Or okay, the arrow is not lit so it's probably off. And now it's on. Maybe. Engine status check. I don't know what that means. And that doesn't bring me anywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of cameras that aren't where I need them to be. Check that the line becomes green, but then once I turn it off, it doesn't become green, so... I mean, it turns off, right? So, okay. I'm fine. F A okay those switches on auto start button it's really just one start button <laughs> uh, this is the one thing you only have one switch for okay I think it's trying to start the engines maybe a uh, start button press to start Maybe. Wait for engine startup. I don't think... Maybe I didn't hold it for long enough. Those are not doing engine start things. Press and hold. I'm not hearing it. Oh, well, one is going. Okay, maybe maybe it's going now. Oh, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> and we've got temps down here. Okay. Number two or the third one has started. Now my experience with uh, Beyond ATC so far has been choppy at best. We'll see how it goes, but. Request startup only. Well, I've already done startup, so I'll just request push and start. Let me see if it'll recognize me. Antonov 2060 requesting push and start. Antonov 2060, Leipzig ground. Push back and engine start approved. Face north. Face north? Push back direction north, Antonov 2060. So, like, push back north. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna push back so that I'm facing this side. I hope that's north. <laughs> uh, okay, last one is starting now. I, I, might, uh, I don't think the lamp post is going to be crashable, right? Right? None of the engine start covers are... Oh, this thing is open. Well, fine. It's closed now. I should turn that thing. Hydraulic switches. On. 
Generator switches. There's only four. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's interesting. I was expecting six. Manual engine start. No, we did the auto engine start. I probably should have tried the manual engine start for fun, but oh well. After engine start. Okay. APU, we're going to stop them. I should probably wait until their engine gas temp goes down, though. Flap lever. Well, I should be able to do that from here, right? That looks like two degrees to me. That's... Reverser handle on. I guess... Does that count as up? I mean... I guess it must... They must want us to do the reverser. I don't know. Okay, flight controls flee and clear. Aileron rudder check. I assume that's okay. Nose wheel steering switch. Those are on, so that's fine. Taxi lights. Which side is on? Okay. Oh, that's retract. Oops. Extend. Wait, this says retract. That says extend. This one says taxi off and landing. Okay, well, the rest is just actually taking off. I guess the Beyond ATC doesn't actually doesn't handle the pushback. So we actually have to go into the system in here to do the pushback. Ground services. Oh, we have to actually get clearance from here first. That's a little bit clunky. Um, the engines just died. Help! What happened? They're, they're stopped. That's a bug? They just patched the darn thing. Okay. Um, I just turned off some of the things that need to be on in order to start it. I'm gonna use Control E. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I think it cheated against me, so I get to cheat and use Control E, right? Right. It's the all purpose start up the engine thing. Been in Flight Sim for a long time. Um, I seem to be going forward. Uh, I, I want to push back. Somebody pushing back? Anybody? There's an F-22 right there. Okay, look, you have to push back a lot more. <laughs> I've got I've got six engines, come on. Okay, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk to Beyond ATC. Antonov 2060 requesting taxi to runway. Antonov 2060, runway 26 left, taxi via Zulu 1. 2, Tango, Sierra 9 up. And if I talk to them, they're gonna give me something completely different. All aircraft be advised, information Oscar now current. Crew in 1012. They've got two different directions here, but screw that, I'm big. Alright, well, let's see what taxiway they give me. <laughs> Let's just keep everything in sync, kind of. Almost the same. They gave me S10 instead of S9. Antonov 2060 requesting to take off clearance. Antonov 2060, Leipzig Tower, wind 350 at 5 to runway 26 left, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Antonov 2060. No. Antonov 2060, <laughs> okay, okay, cleared okay. for takeoff, runway 26 left. 
Engine off 2060, clear for takeoff, runway 26 left. Gosh. Yeah, well, Graham was supposed to tell me to uh, switch to the tower frequency. It didn't do that. Probably because I took the different taxiway. So that's the thing. So I had, I did it myself and ignored ground. So anyway. Okay, here we go. This thing doesn't have my root on it. That's in kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh no. I have to remember that. <laughs> Antonis two zero six zero, reset transponder. Fox zero five two three. Squawk 0523 and Nav 2060. Antonov 2060, contact mention departure 126.175. What departure? Mention departure, Antonov 2060. Mention departure on one two six okay. decimal one okay. seven five. Okay, 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 fine. One two six point one seven five Antonov two zero six zero. Gosh. Antonov two zero six zero at whatever height I'm at. Uh one thousand three hundred meters. Antonov 2060, München Departure, identified, climb to flight level 160. Flight level 160, Antonov 2060. Stand my instruments are in feed and knots? Okay, where are they? Oh, there they are. I was looking at this one. How am I gonna get a high enough altitude like that? If it's gonna tick in increments of one? That's, that can't be right, right? Right? The iPad... Where's my... Antonov 2060, contact Bremen Radar 125 decimal 8. Okay, hold on a sec. 125 decimal 8, Antonov 2060. Okay, under options. Antonov 2060 requesting IFR clearance. Antonov 2060, Bremen radar, expect runway 08 right, DRN 2 echo departure, initial climb to flight level 060. Stroke 0523. Squawk 0523, Antonov 2060. All the other stuff is a little bit premature. Antonov 2060, read that correct. Okay, you... I'll apply day night switch. Vertical hold button. Okay, that would be good. Wing level. How about that? Okay. This would have been good for me to figure out a little bit earlier, probably. We're just going in circles right now. I don't suppose this could go up in tens or something. Where the heck is the heading? <laughs> uh... So it's this dial. Oh, that's the bank. It's, oh, it's a heading bug. Uh, where is my heading bug? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's very mild heading bug. Well, it doesn't seem... Uh, well, it's because I've got the wing leveler on. Do I need the course button? Nope. Okay. Okay. Well, we're in flight. We are at 
16,000. Miraculously. I mean... And they should probably clear me for some height other than 16,000 feet, right? Flight level 160 is not great. Let me see if they can understand that. Antonov 2060 requests flight level 240. It doesn't understand. Antonov 2060 request not understood. Antonov 2060 at flight level 160. Antonov 2060, Bremen radar identified. Climb to flight level 330. Okay, for some reason, I just reset it to Bremen radar again, and now it works. Flight level 330, Antonov 2060. Okay. What is that in meters? <laughs> um, there's a converter on the pad. Oh, this everything is on the pad. No, it's fine. I know it's about 3.3 feet to one meter. I was trying to do it in my head the old-fashioned way. Of course, uh, you could also have a slide rule. Antonov 2060, contact Warsaw Control 127.45. Warsaw Control 127.45, Antonov 2060. Warsaw Control, this is Antonov 2060, climbing to flight level 330. Antonov 2060, Warsaw Control, identified. That's not right. That was on... Uh, what happened to my actual flight plan? Oh, but it's not the same as the Simri flight plan. Antonov 2060, Jure, of course. Clear direct Miska. Let's go on navigation. Clear to Miska, Antonov 2060. Oh, direct to the waypoint, they said. But then I'm going to have to change every waypoint that was in the, the stock sequence. I think the Beyond ATC is reading from Simbrief, where I have one course, and then... In the GPS, it's whatever flight sim decided to give us. And there's a discrepancy, so I don't want to have to change every single waypoint. God only knows if I'm going to be able to land it. Um, let's not talk about that. What's that sound? That's... is that... the sound of Pekka's plane right there? Oh. Okay, as expected. Lvov Center 125.5 Antonov 2060. Lvov Center is Antonov 2060 at flight level 330. Antonov 2060, LVOF Center, identified. Well, if they don't complain, it's okay. <laughs> Antonov 2060, Yore Elf Course. Oh. Clear direct across. Resume on navigation. Always off course, though. Clear direct across uh, Antonov 2060. Requesting heading to next fix, Antonov 2060. Antonov 2060, drag across, turn right, heading 100, addition to fly level 330. Heading 100, flight level 330, Antonov 2060. Antonov 2060, oh. contact Kiev Radier 135.45. 135.45 Antonov 2060. Well, have you got to tell me to descend or do I have to ask? I think I have to ask. Antonov 2060, ready for descent. Antonov 
Antonov 2060, SLV 7 Hotel with the Solo View Cup or Transition, Runway 15, Descent to 7100 feet, QNH. OK. Runway 15, descending to 7100 feet, Antonov 2060. Okay, can I convince it to go down now? Antonov 2060 QNH expect radar vectors for e liters runway 15. Thank goodness they give me the actual readout here on the Beyond ATC thing, otherwise I wouldn't have understood that. ILS 15 Antonov 2060. Hope they don't expect me to hold 7,100 feet. <laughs> uh, I really don't want to try and get the autopilot to keep things happy. No, that's pretty... 7,100. Please, let me land. I see it. Well, I'm gonna try and descend a bit, and then see if they get mad. <laughs> well, I'm 1,000 below the assigned altitude, and they haven't said anything. I'm just gonna try and. Antonov 2060, turn right, heading 200, descent to 5,000 feet, vectors for the approach. Okay. Turn right, heading 200, descend 5000, Antonov 2060. I can see the runway right there. Antonov 2060, oh. 10 miles from CE15, flip present heading, maintain 2000 feet until established on the final approach course, cleared E liters runway 15. Antonov 2060, contact Antonov Tower 120, decimal 55, have a good day. One two zero decimal five five Antonov two zero six zero. Antonov Tower is Antonov two zero six zero at two thousand feet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Antonov two zero six zero Antonov Tower continue. Continuing, Antonov 2060. Maybe landing clearance would be good at some point, though. Antonov 2060, runway 15 clear to your land. Thank you. Oops, wrong one. Clear to land, runway 15, Antonov 2060. Oh, it doesn't have to be choppy right now. Oh boy. How tall am I anyway? Eh, a little bit hard. <laughs> I'm not used to the kilometers per hour. That's my excuse. It slows down in a hurry, even without the reverses. Antonov 2060, vacate when able. Vacate. Vacating when able, Antonov 2060. That was hard. That was a hard landing. We will have to repair the landing gear. They've got really, really thin taxiways here at Antonov Field, apparently. Yeah, I didn't realize it would stop so quickly. Otherwise, I would have lofted a little bit more and landed softer. I thought it was going to take a lot more runway to stop. Antonov 2060 requesting taxi to gate. Really parking, but whatever. Antonov 2060, welcome to Antonov Airport. No suitable gates for your aircraft exist at this airport according to your scenery data. Taxi at pilotage discretion. <laughs> it's true. 
taxiing at my discretion and to 0660. So what does my discretion look like around here? Hmm. They're really, really, considering this supposed to be Antonov Airport, there really isn't a place for me, is there? Like, shouldn't they at least have something around here for me when we know that this plane was here? Shouldn't there be a hangar? I thought it was in a hangar. Well, I sort of like this one. That little guy is in big trouble. <laughs> it was in the hangar, so there should be a hangar here. Yep. You're in my way, I'm supposed to go all the way up to that line. Off. Lock handle, down. Oh, it ended up down eventually anyway. Collapse lever, I guess that is set. Oh, we have to start the APUs again. That's still you out there, isn't it, Pekka? Come on, start. You know you want to. Come on, RPM, you can do it. Parking brake, all lights off. Well, let's do that. We should probably turn off the engines, it doesn't tell me to do that. Okay, well, once we turn the fuel pumps... Well, that seems to be the same as it was before. Shouldn't we just turn them all off? That's on... Okay, that off. That's off. That's on, apparently. Why do they have to have pumps, this many pumps for each engine? That's on. Wait, that's on too. It's like some mini game. Well, it's just these two. Okay, fine. Off, right. Ah, these. Well, they're still at rich. They've always been at rich. Shouldn't I just shut them off? No. Engine shutdown. Here we go. Wing anti-ice. All of those? Manual. Well... Off. Hmm? Check. Well, they are on. Engine generator selector off. Mixture ratio switches. Okay, after engines. Okay, the mi mixture ratio switch is how you switch it off. Okay, then we turn off that. And presumably all the rest. Fine. Yes, I'm just going to turn it all off. Yeah, I've already turned the lights off as requested. Rectifiers need to be turned off. Transformer rectifiers need to be turned off. APU left stop button. Left stop. It is stopping. Right stop button. Stopping. Okay, fire loop switch. I should remember that by now. Okay, so that's that one and that one. And then the bleed air is that one, so that one and that one. And then, oops. Left master switch. Off. Off. And then the battery switches finally, so then that'll be the end. There we go, it's off. The simulator was supposed to show a little thing, dialogue, but it didn't. 
It definitely did a little whirly symbol that suggested that it was going to bring up the dialogue to show that the flight was over, but then it didn't bring it up. So there you have it, that was my flight with the AN225 and beyond ATC from a cold start to shutdown. Clearly I still need some more practice with the AN225 landings, I didn't realize it would stop so quickly, otherwise I would have landed softer, and also I need to practice more with my ATC conversation skills. But with that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.